I love the song by John Michael Talbot called Why. The lyrics begin, Why did it have to be a friend who chose to betray the Lord? Why did he use a kiss to show them? That's not what a kiss is for. Only a friend can betray a friend. A stranger has nothing to gain. And only a friend comes close enough to ever cause so much pain. And why did there ever have to be a thorny crown pressed upon his head? It should have been the royal one made of jewels and gold instead. It had to be a crown of thorns because in this life that we live, for all who seek to love, a thorn is all the world has to give. And why did it have to be a heavy cross he was made to bear? And why did they nail his feet and hands? His love would have held him there. It was a cross, for on a cross a thief was supposed to pay, and Jesus had to come into the world to steal every heart away. Yes, Jesus had to come into the world to steal every heart away. In this life, the never-ending question when you're suffering is why. Even Job submitted the same question to God in his suffering. If I have sinned, what have I done to you? You see everything we do. Why have you made me your target? Have I become a burden to you? Job 7.20 We lose our sense of reasoning in our suffering. We turn to God and can shake our fist at Him in anger for what He permitted. We resort to self-pity and complaining, eventually allowing seeds of bitterness and resentment to become a stronghold. Why do the righteous suffer? You made a decision to follow Jesus and give Him everything. When He comes to collect His wages for the cost of our lives, we find it so hard to give freely what He's asking us to sacrifice or take. You see, truly following Jesus will cost you everything. He said it is necessary that the Son of Man suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, be killed and be raised the third day. Luke 9.22 So it was necessary for Jesus to suffer many things, rejection, death, and resurrection, just for our salvation. He has told us no servant is greater than their master. So if Jesus had to go through various sufferings and even death, and we are his servants, why are we puzzled by our sufferings? As he goes on to say in Luke 9, verses 23 through 24, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves, take up their cross daily, and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. Count the cost. What is your cross that God has permitted in order that you may lose your life to save it? Losing your life means to lose yourself, that you may die completely to self, that Christ may live in you. Why, Lord, would you allow me to pray for a child than allow a miscarriage or stillborn? Why, Lord, would you allow my only child to be taken from me? Why, Lord, would you allow me to be betrayed by someone I love and trusted? Why, Lord, would you allow me to stay in a difficult, loveless, and troubled marriage? Why, Lord, would you allow my church congregation to spread rumors about me? Why, Lord, would you allow my loved one to be taken by COVID or cancer? when I prayed and believed for healing? Why, Lord, would you allow such a delay in my marriage when that is my heart's desire? Why, Lord, would you allow my body to be riddled with sickness and ailments that are the cause of chronic pain? Why, Lord, would you allow infidelity in my marriage and tell me to stay and stick it out? Why, Lord, would you allow my family to be broken apart when I served you faithfully, prayed and believed? 
yet still my spouse left me. Why? Why, Lord, do you allow me to lose my job when I'm the sole provider in my home? Why, Lord, would you allow me to be overlooked and another chosen instead when I work so hard? Why, Lord, do you allow me to be oppressed by Satan and tested over and over again? Why, Lord, do you allow me to experience dark nights where I feel abandoned with no direction, yet I'm trying to seek you? Why does it seem, God, you're not answering my prayers? Why? 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 And we can go on and on. Why? The answer is found in the cross. Although he was son, he had to learn obedience from what he suffered. Hebrews If Jesus had to suffer to learn obedience, how much more us, who are so bent towards rebellion. Suffering teaches us obedience to the Father's will and obedience to His ways. This every day has to see one of His precious children die by abortion or sacrifice. Jesus was betrayed by one of His disciples, whom He loved. Jesus continues to love us, His brides, who are so easily drawn away by other lovers, that He never leaves us but stays and waits patiently until we return our hearts back to him. Jesus had continuous accusations hurled against him by the religious leaders of his day and still does to this day. Jesus lost his foster father Joseph at a young age. He knows what it feels like to lose a loved one. Jesus so desperately desires his brides to be where he is, but has delayed time and time again his coming because we're not ready. So he knows the pain of waiting a long time for a promise. Jesus took our infirmity and sickness on the cross, and he continues to stay in countless marriages with his brides who are unfaithful, yet he never is unfaithful to them. Jesus left the comfortability of being with his family and with his mother to do the Father's will until he died. Jesus understands the pain of being apart from your family. Jesus was overlooked time and time again by the religious leaders and by the crowd when they chose Barbaras instead of him. Jesus was tested and harassed by the devil for 40 days, enduring his entire passion. Jesus also felt the veil of abandonment on the cross. He understands, and that is why we must suffer, that we all may follow our master, becoming a servant of obedience and transformed to look just like him. That is why.